All right, guys, once again, it is Fan Mail Friday, and I am so excited because I have a whole stack of stuff here to open straight from you guys. If you would like to send me something for me to open in Fan Mail Friday, I have a P.O. box, and it is down below in the description. Please feel free to send me anything you want, and we'll open it in a video. Unless it's something totally crazy and stupid and dumb, because there are some trolls out there, at which point it will not make it into the video. But if you are a true fan, and you want to send me things like letters, pictures, even packages, I will open them right here in a video for you to enjoy. Before we get started, guys, I want to tell you to make sure that you join me tomorrow night and every Saturday night for Saturday Night Snack in a Movie, where we pick out an awesome movie, we pick out an awesome some snack. We make the snack, we get ready for the movie, and then we kick back and everybody watches the movie at their own house. <laughs> but at least we get to make the snack together and you know that while you're watching it, I'm watching it too. So in a sense, we are watching it together. But due to copyrights, we cannot actually watch it on the channel together. But anyways, let's get down to opening these awesome letters and this awesome package from some fans just like you. All right, guys, we are going to start with the envelopes here. This one is from Mike in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's get this open here. All right, okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. We got a little letter here. It says, hello, my name is Mike Hall. I watch you every time you are on. Thank you so much, Mike Hall. I love your shows you have on. Love when you do Spirit of Halloween. Really great. Wish you could do one up around here where I live. Um, and again, that was Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. I'll see what I can pull off this coming season. It would be wonderful to meet you. My mom loves to watch you and your wife. Thank you for giving me your address and inviting me out there to your spirit Halloween this next Halloween season. I will do my best to get out there and I appreciate you watching and your mom watching so much. All right, let's move on to the next one here, guys. And this one is from Kelly in Jamestown, New York. I think the best way for me to do this is to just rip off the top, blow it open, and pour it out. And it appears to be some pictures and a letter. Look at this. I love opening this stuff from you guys. If I'm reading these letters and I cut it off early, that just means there was some personal stuff in there that I figured was not best to share on the internet. Okay, so this one says, Dear Nate Guy, my name is Kelly. I'm 18 years old and I'm a huge fan of yours and I love Spirit Halloween. I have autism and an incurable disease called tuberous. Hmm. Tuberous sclerosis. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that one. I love watching all your videos. Hopefully someday you can come to the Spirit Halloween near me. And again, that would be Jamestown, New York. I think I've only filmed one Spirit Halloween in New York so far, but I'm going to try to make it there next year, or this year, this coming season. Here is some pictures I made for you. Awesome. Kelly, I can't wait to see these pictures. <laughs> I love when you guys send me pictures. Okay, this is pretty cool, man. This is done... All right, first of all, what I see right here is it's black paper, and it has, like, silver marker on it. So here's the first one here. If you guys can see it there. And then we have some coloring on the back. And then here's the second one. And, oh, look at this one on the back there. That's pretty cool. I love how it's so shiny. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the cartoon back in the 80s called Gem and the Rockers right there. Okay, Kelly, thank you so very, very much. I'm going to pack these up, and I'm going to keep them forever. I wish I had, like, a big area where I could just put all of these up. Maybe I'll see if I can make an area in the other room where I could then do these... Uh, fan mail unboxings and have all your pictures and letters and stuff stuck up on the wall behind me. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, so we got another one here, and this is from Stryker in Somerset, Ohio. Oh, <laughs> I ripped it open, but it's already open. Okay, all right, looks like we got another picture here. Thank you so much, Stryker. I cannot wait to see this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so here's one of them. I hope you guys can see this um, with the light on it there. It's kind of light. That right there, I could tell immediately was a uh, wacky mole back here. And especially because pointing to the teeth, it says 
candy corn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then on the back side, or I guess this would be the front, we have Grim. Look at that. Yes, we got Grim right there. Hashtag best Halloween ever on the bottom. And then I see we have Ghostface up here. I think both of those are Ghostface. And then uh, I thought we had another one. Oh, Johnny. I think this is Johnny Punk right there. What are those? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Striker. Thank you so much. Thank you, Striker. All right, and we got another one here. I'll go ahead and show you guys the front of this one because that's the uh, the P.O. box right there if you want to send me something. On the back there is a stamp and it looks like this came from Brownstown, Michigan, if I'm reading that correctly. I really got to get my lighting better here because it lights me up pretty good for the video, but it shines directly in my eyes and makes it very difficult to actually see. So let me make sure, okay. Okay, this is awesome. It's a Merry Christmas card, but it's also a Halloween card. Look at this. <laughs> that is very cool. Okay, so the back says, Happy Holidays. What a wonderfully spooky year. Rocco was thrilled to upgrade Mr. Bones to the 12-foot version for our yard. Oh my gosh, I have a 12-foot uh, skeleton that I bought from Home Depot, and I never set it up this year. I just never got the chance. I was out there filming all those Spirit Halloween stores, and I just never got the chance to set him up. So he's still in there waiting to be set up next year. Oh, uh, let's see, the 12-foot version for our yard. He was very lucky to visit Disney for the first time during their Halloween celebration. Wishing you peace and love for the holidays, the Leone family. Thank you guys so much. So awesome. I love these pictures here. I love the giant boo in the background. That is so very cool. Awesome. All right. I'm going to save that one as well. I have fan letters from you guys from, man, for years. I, I don't have a ton of them, but I have them like all saved in a box. I just, I'm the kind of person who like, I can't get rid of stuff. And especially when it's stuff that you guys send me, it just means so much to me that I want to keep it. I want to save it. So, okay, so we have a package here then, guys, and this one comes from Dream Big Productions in Gilbert, Arizona. Sweet. Okay, I, I can feel there's something in there, obviously. <laughs> I have no clue what it is, but I'm really anxious to find out, and I don't have my razor. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and get this open here. Slice it right along the top here. Okay, so let's pull all this stuff out of here. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what this is. What in the world? Is there a button? Uh... Okay, there's a way to turn it on down here. Okay, I gotta see if there's an explanation for this in here because I don't quite understand. Okay, Leapfrog. Colorful Counting Red Panda. So we just have like some random things in here. What the heck is all this? We have stacks of money. Thank you so much for the stacks of money. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually pretty cool. This fake money here. I love it. What if I like totally found out that all this was real and now I was rich in another country? <laughs> oh, and what's our little pink thing here? Hmm, okay. Uh, there's a letter in here too, so hopefully it will explain what all this stuff is. Um, let me just show it to you one more time here and then I'll see if we can figure it out. So we have this jolly singing fellow here. We have stacks of money. We have this pink. I don't even know what the heck it is. Hopefully we're gonna find out though. And we have a couple of little inserts that would have come with like a leapfrog set. So let's go ahead and get to this little letter here. Okay, <clears throat> so this says, this is the very first package from Dream Big Productions. Plush, oh, slash, 
plush bat fan. Inside this package is four stacks of prop pretend money. Okay, so there's our four stacks of prop money. I love it. A pink washcloth. A sound box that comes from a children's plush toy. Okay, so this at some point was inside a plush toy. I don't know what kind of toy it was, but like if it was a bear or something, this was actually what was in it. And I guess when you when you'd squeeze it, this button would get pushed, or maybe you like squeezed a paw or something, and the button would get pushed and it sings a song. And a toy catalog plus the sound box operation manual. We hope you have a happy new year. Dream Big Productions plush bat fan. Okay, thank you Dream Big Productions and plush bat fan for this little random lot of awesomeness. <laughs> oh my gosh, the stacks of money totally cracks me up. Yes, I'd like a second Hummer, please. Oh, cash, here you go. <laughs> Well, that was a very random package there. Thank you, everybody, for everything you sent me. Again, if you want to send me something, we're opening things every Friday, Fan Mail Friday. The P.O. Box is down below in the description. Thank you, everybody, so much who has sent me stuff so far. It's so fun opening your awesome fan mail. We'll see you guys in the next video.